you for checking out I Love My Curve. I'm just giving you a forewarning. You guys might want to pick a snack, get something to drink, get comfy, throw little body pillows behind you because this is a collective haul. I haven't had a haul for you guys for a while. Get started. I have some few makeup products, beauty products, some accessories, and then obviously some shoes and clothes. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with, um, I guess, the beauty products because there's least amount of these the first thing I picked up was I'm um, a full bottle of the Lady Gaga flame so or excuse me fame I always want to say fit flame I don't know why maybe because the bottle reminds me of like little flames on the out on the outside you know how it has these little like daggers but um, if you guys have followed me before you guys know that I picked up the rollerball in this because I wanted to try it out and I absolutely love it I am like obsessed with that one and juicy couture's Viva La juicy Currently, those are my favorites right now. I'm like obsessed, but I picked me up a full size of this because um, at Ulta they were 50% off at one time. So yeah, I scored on that. I went to MAC Cosmetics and I picked up a couple lipsticks. I had to pick up a refill of my um, all-time favorite lipstick and everyday basically pinky nude, which is MAC Angel. You guys know that this is um, just an everyday favorite for me. This is probably something that I will repurchase over and over and over again. Unless I find something else. And I finally got my hands on a Rebel. Every time I go I go to my Mac counter or the Macy's counter to pick up Rebel, they were always sold out. So I'm just like, you know what? It's just not meant to be. But uh, this time I was able to get her. The two eyeshadows that I picked up, I already added to my Z palette. But um, I picked up Brown Script and Soft Brown. I'm a neutral kind of girl. I love neutral colors. Um, something else that I was turned on to that I finally was like, you know what, I need a new foundation um, because pretty much all I wear is my my MAC um, Studio Fix Fluid. And this is like my full coverage, what I wear for weekends if I do wear makeup. But, you know, everyday things I use just a BB cream and some concealer. But I wanted something else just, you know, to kind of give my MAC Studio Fix a... Um, a break there and I picked up the L'Oreal true match and I am actually a I want to say an NC 25 so I picked up a W4 in this and this is actually looks very very good on I am absolutely loving this I've been using it now for a while and um, I really really like it so I have no complaints about it if I put a really good primer on underneath it does just as well as my Mac Studio Fix so I pretty much have a new holy grail for that but that will save all that stuff for a favorites video I'm gonna get into some accessories um, I picked these up at Burlington for Christmas I got a gift card for Burlington from one of my brothers so I was like you know what I really love their jewelry I, I like the fact that it's like nothing's usually over $12 for a very big statement piece and I think that's really reasonable compared to some of the online boutiques that you spend like $30 for. Which is something, if you're very creative, you could probably make them yourself. But yeah, I don't have that time. So, I picked up this one. It's just a um, very large statement necklace. It has um, like these jewel stones in it. And it's almost like a smoke slate color. I don't know if it's picking it up. And this is by the brand um, Charles Klein. It has some earrings. I don't know if I'll use the earrings, but um, I love statement necklaces because obviously you can just throw on like a basic tee and put on a necklace and it just totally dolls up the look. I love them for work because I wear a lot of blazers and under my blazers I usually wear like camis or tanks and they're usually just plain. So for me to dress something up, I usually just put on a statement necklace versus um, like the big gaudy earrings that I usually wear when I go out. So they're kind of night and day for me. They're still um, very much statement pieces. However, I use them for different purposes. So sticking with Burlington Coat Factory, I found this one actually on clearance. And this one was on clearance for $5.99. And it's almost like a coral and gold, um, coral and gold color and coral stones. They're like pebble type stones. Very, very pretty. Another statement necklace. This one was actually, I don't know what the original price of it was. I, I want to say it's probably like $9.99, but it was clearance down to $5.98. Nothing wrong with it. I made sure all the stones and everything were intact. So um, this will be very pretty for the spring and even summertime against white and like blue. Ooh. And my last one, which is my absolute favorite. This is actually by the brand Sophia and Kate. And this one's also from um, Burlington. I should actually say this is my last purchase from Burlington as far as um, accessories is this leopard statement piece necklace with gold. And I'm 
obsessed with leopard i'm obsessed with animal print and i'm obsessed with gold i just think it looks very nice and polished now this next one i picked up from a online sale on facebook um, this one's just a black statement necklace with gold and the last few that i'm going to show you i picked up from deb shops and um, that's debshops.com this one was actually on sale for they were all on sale for five dollars when i got them this is like pearls and gold and it has this little like charm that says love this is just pretty look how this is gonna look against like black like even if you wear just plain like body car dresses or plain tees it's just gonna definitely dress up the look and I picked up a couple that I'm actually um, this one is also another one that was five dollars I think would be great for um, going out it has like metals and chains of definitely very rocker ish and it has these little diamonds in them that are all also um very pretty there and the next one that i picked up again five dollars this one i think is just going to be absolutely gorgeous for the spring summertime just because of the colors in it the turquoise and the coral um you guys know oh, i'm using um a lot you can tell i'm very nervous because i haven't filmed a video for a long time um as i was saying i think this is going to be very pretty for uh summertime and just the colors in it and springtime i think it's just gonna very it's gonna pop against white so i can't wait for this one and my last accessory for De from deb shops was a handbag like yeah like i need another handbag right it's just this black bag and it has these gold chains on the side kind of for detail it has a snap closure and it has a total of three chains to kind of give you you know some structure there to it so i like that it's big i like that i could fit a tablet in here my makeup bag and it also has some leopard print in the inside so just simple bag i think this was also 50 percent off i mean literally like i probably didn't pay more than ten dollars for it so let's get some shoes out of the way the first pair of shoes that i'm going to show you is a boot it's actually a wide width boot from justfab.com so if you guys didn't know already justfab.com is carrying wide calf boots so i was super excited when i had seen this i'd actually seen it back in the end of um 2013 and i was like okay i'm gonna take a look and see which ones i kind of like there wasn't really a lot of styles. There was one style that came out right at the beginning that I really, really like and wear anywhere from a nine, nine and a half to 10. My concern was the width part of it, obviously for the cat. These are the Nabila. I think I'm pronouncing it right. So it's like a cognac colored boot. And what I love about this boot is the detail that it has actually in it. You have a buckle up at the top, a buckle at the bottom, and then the back of the boot has the orange zipper that kind of just gives it that color and detail with this boot what i'm going to say is and if you guys have this the calf part of it fit me fine and i want to say i'm about 17 17 and a half 18 inches around my calf circumference now to get your foot into this part if i can show you guys right here and what it is is basically this bridge part right here to get your foot into this area was the hardest part once i got my foot past here all this fit perfectly and mind you i went down a size i'm able to wear this over a jean i wear these over skinny jeans not jeggings not leggings but actual jeans so i had enough room to do that it was just getting past this the next shoe is by the brand liliana and i believe i purchased these from gojane.com reminded me of some a shoe that was on aldo's website at the beginning of 2013 that's when the whole caged and um single sole shoe single sole shoe started to come back into style so this actually i purchased this in a size 11 i went up a size because i was kind of hesitant about how the strap area was going to um fit so I'm kind of glad I went up a size. However, I do have some spacing right here, but since there is a zipper back on it, it's not a really big issue. So these shoes are actually pretty comfortable because it's not a really big high heel. I would say it's probably about three and a half inches to four. Um, however, this is something to get used to. It has some padding right here, but the single soles aren't always the most comfortable. The next shoe I actually picked up at a clearance sale that Forever 21 had where they took an extra 50% off all clearance items. 
and um, I've actually had these for a couple months now. That is just basically a um, faux suede and gold detailed platform pump. Something just very similar, simple. I got these in a size 10. And the original price on these were $27.80. They were marked down to $13.99 on clearance. And then it was an extra 50% off the clearance. Which made it, what, like seven or eight dollars so that's actually a score the next three pair of shoes that i'm going to show you they're actually from shoe dazzle and since then i've actually canceled my account with shoe dazzle one of the issues being is that i was just getting into too much trouble on the shoe dazzle account um i was just you know ordering shoes left and right there and another one is because um i had a little issue with some of the customer service i you know hate having to be pressured to change my account and I feel like I was being pressured to change my account on Shoe Dazzle. I didn't like that and I felt like um, I made a purchase and when I made the purchase it I didn't click a button and opt out for them to change my account so it changed my account automatically and I'm like wait a second that's kind of sneaky you know so I called back I wasn't happy I was like I go I want my account turned back to the way it was well we're sorry we can't do that so I was like all right just cancel my account so after my three purchases that I had just made I actually end up canceling my shoe dazzle account so which is probably for the best see if I can save some money that way okay on to the shoes this one I said is from shoe dazzle the brand is seen and this is actually called Deandra now I got these on clearance obviously because if you don't know shoe dazzle does have specials and deandra is a gorgeous shoe deandra is not the most comfortable issue because once again it is a single sole but it is optimal for a wide width foot why because it has the laces in the front where you can adjust and i just love the whole idea as far as like it's a nude a perfect nude peak toe pump it's about maybe four, four and a quarter inches, and it has netting all around it. I just think this for the spring summertime is just going to be amazing. And I caught it on sale, so you know what more can a girl want? Is a brand called Paper Fox. Now this is the Callen, and actually, Callen I originally returned because I sized up and I got an 11, and it was too big, so I had to actually return these. And I actually received Callen in in a different color for my birthday from my best friend. So this is Callan. Callan is a bronzed snakeskin booty and it has some stud detail on the side right here. It has some gold trim right here and it also has some gold trim at the back of the heel. So it's a platform booty. It has a snap on the side as far as right here. Very comfy, very doable for a wide width foot or ankle. Um, girls, you just need to know how to walk on a platform, obviously, to, you know, enjoy these. The next shoe that I'm going to show you from Shoe Dazzles, also by the brand Scene. I misplaced the box. I don't know where it's at. I think it's still in my car. But, um, yeah, don't ask. So, I'm going to show you this shoe. This shoe is absolutely amazing. And also, it is very, 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 very comfortable. One of the most comfortable heels I have. So, that's why after I had canceled my subscription, I was kind of like, why did I do that? You know, I shouldn't have maybe got so upset. Um, just because... I shouldn't have got so upset just because the shoe is very very comfortable it's a leopard print mary jane platform shoe so it has like um the mary jane aspect as far as the straps in the front for support and around the ankle i think what makes this heel so comfortable is because obviously the large platform that it has i would say it's about three inch platform with the six inch heel I wore these out on a date night. We went to um, the downtown area where they have some like nightclubs and stuff and I was able to stand, walk, you know, we walked from the car to the area where we were going and I was able to dance in them. The only drawback is my boyfriend did say that, you know, could you pick a smaller shoe because you're super tall. I don't know. I didn't realize that that bothered him that I was taller than him, but um, nevertheless, yeah, so this is this is actually Lala and it's by the brand seen from shoe dazzle and Lala I got in a size 10 true to size I actually probably could have went down like maybe even to a nine but um, it's it's overall perfect so really love her the stores that you're gonna hear me mention are either gonna be um, Deb shops forever 21 
or G Stage or even like Kmart and I want to say I think I have a couple things from Burlington and Ashley Stewart. So let's go ahead and get started. This top is from Deb. It is a white, I guess as you could say cream, cream and leather peplum top and it has an attached necklace to it. I actually bought it because I loved the necklace detail on it. It has some sheer meshing at the top. It is sleeveless. So, um, and the bottom part of it is like a faux leather. I just love the detail, I think, against like a colored skirt or even a black skirt. You can just do wonders with it. And you can dress it down too if you wanted to, but I could see this more as like a dressy top. The necklace is detachable. I got it in a 2X. I wish I would have went up a size. Deb Shops, their sizing is kind of different. Um, it is almost like a plus junior plus size however some of their 3x stuff is big on it. it's it's just all over the board but i don't have a deb shops close to me so it's kind of just trial and error with their online service so the top was actually regularly 25.90 but i think when i bought it it was like for either 40 or 30 percent off so it was like i want to say 18 or 19 dollars so which i think is um pretty good so yeah this is from g stage and this is a leopard button up and it's almost kind of semi sheer I, it does have some, you know, protection to it. It's not like completely sheer, but uh, it's a tunic and it has roll up sleeves with some gold detail and it has a little pocket here. I just think this would be really cute cinched in maybe with some um, red skinny pants or skinny jeans or even some like burgundy or oxblood colored leggings or pants. So I think that it would look really, really nice. If you're petite enough, you could probably get away with wearing this as a dress. Um, but obviously, since I do have a big booty, yeah, it'll just be a top. But I plan on wearing this top for um, another leopard print top that I picked up from G Stage. And this actual same shirt, the Fashion to Figure website. So be very careful. I would always say, like, if you see something that you like on one of these online boutiques, check out G Stage first and see if they have it. Now, pay attention because G Stage uses a very small model. So sometimes the clothing that you see on their website doesn't look how it would look like on a curvy girl. This is the top, it's a leopard print, um, and it has a cutout detail at the shoulder, so it's sheer mesh up at the top, and then little cap sleeve with exposing this area. And it is peplum. And I have some outfit of the days planned for this. Like I said, I picked this up at G Stage for probably half the price, $15.99. My last top from G Stage that I picked up was this um, oversized sweater. It's like a gray and it has some, a dark, almost black gray, and it has a faux leather pocket patch right here. It's almost a high low. I love high lows because the good thing about it is you could get away with wearing leggings. I think it's boxy enough at the neck area so if you wanted to wear it like off the shoulder you can actually do that too so this is the um black gray color and i believe this is in a 2x 3x what i'm going to show you is from believe it or not kmart this is um a denim top from their bongo junior plus line so this was on clearance it was actually regular price 20 20 dollars, and then they dropped it to dollars seven dollars it was like seven dollars and some change so it has rhinestone detail up at the neck like the collar area which i think is super cute if you guys can see and then also has some rhinestones up at the top there too it has also a shoulder cutout detail as you can see so that's very popular the shoulder cutouts are very popular right now. i have a couple jackets i want to show you the first one is actually from burlington and this was one of the jackets that i picked up with um the jewelry that i got for my gift card and check out this jacket guys so this is by the brand pimpkey and i picked it up in a 2x it's a light cognac color and it has um all this just detail it has a a flap right here and it has a zipper detail right here and it has a zipper detail right here so i think the way this goes is like you can zip it up Does that makes sense it's almost similar to the lane bryant jacket that everybody was going crazy about that ponte knit jacket that had all the detail on it well you have the zipper here and the zippers here it has a little latch collar up at the top and then you also have zippers on the pocket and this is what the back looks like. 
So this was $19.99. This was, yeah, I think that Lane Bryant jacket was like almost 100 bucks. You got it on sale. Kudos to you. But I just love the brown. I love black too, but I love the brown. And I needed a, a jacket this color. I have a dark brown. I have a black. I just didn't have something this color. So I think it'll just be really good against like, you know, any of those chocolate browns that, um, or even the light cognac color. The next jacket is actually a thin military type jacket from Ashley Stewart. And this was from Ashley Stewart's 50% off sale. I picked this up in a 1X, believe it or not, because I'm not sure what their sizing, but it does fit. And it has sequins all along the sleeves. How cute is that? This jacket's regularly $49.50. I got it for 50% off, which made it $25. Um, totally doable. And it's a thin twill material. It has the button detail up at the top. Okay, so I have some bottoms for you. I picked up these Oxblood skinny pants from G Stage, and it has a very thick reinforced waistband so i picked these up in a 3x and they are a um almost straight skinny leg not too skinny and it has a zipper detail down the side picked up a couple skirts from forever 21 the first one being an ox blood skirt just a regular skinny pencil skirt for eight dollars I sized down and I went into a 2X for these. These were regularly $10.80, but they were on special for $8. And then the next color that I picked up was this very pretty emerald jewel tone green. I picked up a pencil skirt from G Stage for $11.99. It's a travel print. I actually sized down a whole lot in this. I went to a 2X for it. So. This is very thin jersey material. I have one sweater to show you. This is from Forever 21, and this was from their 50% off clearance sale. This is in a 2X. It was marked down from $22.80 to $15.99, and then it was 50% off of $15.99. And it's this tiger sweater, and it has the studs across it. This will be definitely be cute for like some combat boots and some leggings or jeggings you know just on those comfy sunday days when you you know just want to throw your hair up in a bun you this know? one is actually from the straight size is it from from burlington so it's regularly 16.99 and it's just this purple and mustard colored bodycon dress it's almost a midi dress because it fits me right towards my knee a little bit below it and it's three quarters sleeve with lots of stretch i got this in an extra large and this was part of my gift card purchase also. I picked up a couple bodycon dresses from Forever 21. They had them on special for $10. And I picked up a red one. And I also picked up a turquoise one. So I can't wait to pair some of my statement necklaces with these. From G Stage. And this one I actually plan on wearing pretty soon. This is a cream and black um, abstract print dress and it's a midi dress so I sized down because I don't want the bottom of the dress to be too boxy. That's one of my pet peeves. I just feel like if everything's going to be fitted like a bodycon it needs to be fitted completely. So I went to a 2X on this and um, this has long sleeves and like I said it's an abstract print. I picked up a pair of animal print palazzo pants from G Stage and I... Seriously, I wish I would have sized down completely on these. I picked them up in a 3X and they are huge. So I don't know if I'm going to try to get these altered. I definitely have to get them cut because they are really, really long. But this is the print on them. Literally, this is probably good for like somebody who is 5'9". Because I would have to wear some very high heels for these Palazzo pants. So since it's just a raw cut at the bottom, I'm thinking I'm going to just have my cousin trim them off for me um, who does some seamstress work. So, yeah. The last two dresses that I have, um, the next, they're, they're actually from Fashion to Figure. And Fashion to Figure, they were in their, their sale um, column. But it's this one. This is the first one. It's this black and white um, snake print dress. It's a bodycon dress. Now, I picked up mine in a 3X. I was... I'm familiar with, uh, I don't want to say I'm familiar, but I was hesitant about the sizing for this. So I picked up a 3X and a 2X and um, in hopes of one of them fitting to my liking. 
the 3x did the 2x is a little bit fitted so i have the 2x available if anybody is interested like i said it has this um gorgeous snake print down the front there and it's sleeveless so i'm thinking of possibly maybe doing a dress sale because i have a bunch of stuff that i need to get rid of if anybody's interested or if anybody's interested in the 2x that's like this that would be suitable probably for a um, small 18 or 16 either direct message me or leave me a comment below with your email address and I will PayPal you an invoice. And the last dress that I have, of course I have to close this video with leopard print, you know. Fashion a figure and it is just a sweetheart with mesh leopard print. Now this is the dress that I should have probably sized down on. Um, believe it or not, I was kind of iffy about the mesh because sometimes the mesh is um, a little too constricting. So um, I may try to get this altered a little bit. That was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My best to all of you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, love your style, love your body, love your curves. I love mine.